It was good, it was good. Seeing Chris uh, knock down shots, just being himself. Keep being aggressive, he does by shooting every time you touch it. Just shoot it, every time. This game, the next game, all season long, all playoffs long. We, we are riding with you. Miss or make, this is what we're gonna live with. today as you were getting to the rim? Uh, no, I didn't feel no difference. So I was just trying to be more focused, obviously. Um, I felt like in game two, I missed like a lot of easy ones that I usually like finish and, uh, you know, uh, and that's part of the game. So going to this game, I was, you know, telling myself when I get close to the rim or uh, when I get my, uh, you know, my balance right or when I go by my guy, you know, just try to finish, uh, finish strong by the rim. He's just, he's killing Clark right now. He's figured Clark out and knows what he can do. To I wasn't thinking if I had a perfect game. I don't. I was just trying to um, focus in my balance, try to finish strong in the rim. Playing uh, the same team for like the third time, you kind of know where your shots going to come from. Uh, you know how they going to guard you. Uh, you know uh, what to do when you roll, you know what to do when you post up, you know what to do when you come down the floor, you know where the help is coming from. And, you know, I was ready. I knew when the help going to come, I knew where they going to move. I was just trying to make the right play. Uh, there was time that wasn't coming, I was just trying to go downhill. Uh, but, yeah, that was my mindset. The Bucks been able to put up points, haven't they? Giannis out of the Kumbo leads the way today, 121 to 107. This last one was quick. The one before that was almost the same quickness. I, I like now I'm afraid to make moves. Like, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'm gonna take it easy on you, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it set What up. happened the first two games? Why were the first set up our pieces? Sorry, why were the first four games so close? Because I was distracted. I was doing something else. I was, I was trying. I was playing. You're trying to yeah, man. You go get. You keep playing though. You go get. You go get used to it. You go figure out. And I'm gonna be up till 4 a.m. just reading chess strategies, so I can beat the Mr. Miyagi of chess, Sterling Brown. I need to get up there, man. I need to get up with them high levels. What they call them? Uh, you're gonna play a multiple like grand masters or something. Yeah, like that. grand masters, and you're gonna do time. Two. 
Four. Oh. It's over with. We know Chris gonna get real. One of them. There you go. <laughs> yes. Hey. In the hierarchy of Mickey Mouse treats, this one's up there. There's one that's like half chocolate dip with sprinkles. It's fantastic. It's better than this. But I went with the generic Rice Krispie Treat. You know, I was trying to um, have a load for tomorrow's game and really be healthy. And I thought, you know, this was the way to go. You got a lot of Rice Krispies, obviously, in there. Some um, marshmallow, um, vitamin B6, some folic acid, you know, all the stuff you really need. There's calcium, pan pantethanate in there too, so it's very healthy. I thought this was good time to get it in my body before the game tomorrow, the early game tomorrow. Should the chairs be worried? The chairs should always be worried. At any moment. Marv raises your level of shooting up. He's just, he's a professional. There's a difference between physicality and then things that cross the line. And like I said, the first shove, I didn't know if he was just being physical or if that was intentional. But the second one, I certainly felt like was intentional. And like I said, that's not something that I can do. But at the same time, it's not something I'm ever going to stand for. So. Galactic Dante over here does media before me. You have media? <laughs> yeah, I got media. He does it before me. That's crazy, right? Starter Galactic Ultimate Dante. How you gonna lie? I'm not, man. I'm not. Hi. Hey, but like, the thing is, when, see, when people see us just chilling here, they say, oh, man, man, life in the bubble is nice. <laughs> you see? You're, you're giving the wrong expression. Uh, you should ice your camera. Man. Ooh, that's it for me, guys. It's waterproof. Hot, Hot cold, cold. meat in the middle. Yeah. Ah. spider in here? Spider. Break it down, okay. Uh, but watch out, maybe poisonous. Spider. I should figure out how to do the brakes before I got on. Hey, be careful. Wait, there's no brakes? Nah, I don't. The back brake? Yeah. Oh, you can, you can skid. <laughs> Easy out there. Oh, I don't know if they uh, really thought about making bikes for 6'7", 6'8", 6'9", guys. So, post-practice, just finished up a great one. I was on, I, I put myself on the crisp Middleton treatment plan. It's all about body maintenance, making sure that he takes care of his body. And one of those things is ice slash cold tub. Here in the bubble, the cold tubs are slightly different than the ones back home. Kind of like being in a kiddie pool and it's just, you know, gallon ice bags that they dump in there with us. Good recovery tool, good recovery method. And I mean, whenever you're following a guy who is an all-star, I feel like you can't really do anything wrong. Cold tub crew. Thank you. Oh man! <laughs> oh, 14 minutes and I can't feel my legs right now. Last one in. Means you're in for a little bit longer. Man, I might go chill by the pool if the sun comes out. Probably got a couple minutes until it come out. You might catch me over there diving down the slide, doing what I do. Aqua smooth. I'm out. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Oh, the YouTube. Ah.
Ah! You see what it takes to be great? Do you want this? You don't. Ah! Woo! You go put this on TikTok? Oh, you put it more. Oh. Yes. 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 There's no. That's it. See, let me give you guys a lesson. It takes a lot to be great. It takes a lot to be great. Don't forget that. You see what we do every day? Just to play a game. Just to be able to play a game. For you guys, for the fans, for the people of Milwaukee, for the city of Milwaukee, for ourselves, for our family. It takes a lot to be great. Remember that. He can tell you more because he's been uh, 27 years in the league right there. Yes, OG. He's gonna live a thousand years. He's so slow. Look at him. He takes his time with everything. Slow, slow. He's, he's standing now. Don't bother. He's standing. Can you can you go? Can you? DJ. NBA bubble, NBA bubble life. <laughs> hey fellas, the same energy and same effort we played last game with. This game is an important game, all right? Communicate on both ends of the floor, all right? Let's have fun, let's put them away early, all right? So, together on three, one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Change Giannis Hammers. Eight points for out of the Kumbo. Way outside, late, count it, yes. Wesley Matthews, Giannis does the double <laughs> quiver on that one. I guess. Commanding <laughs> lead in the best of seven against Orlando. A victory, and Milwaukee is up three games to one. Giannis, Euros, mm. Hammers. Just so pretty, and Matthews loves it. And it was not an easy finish. 13 point game, and Middleton. Got it. Yes, and sir. Fournier fouls Middleton. Cash money, baby. Pat Connaughton will dribble it out. The Bucks take a commanding 3 to 1 lead, winning 121 to 106. Very similar score to game three, as it turns out. Thanks, Chris. Have a good one. Thanks. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Chris, you do have the best matching shoes. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Um, I'd like to start. Is it okay if I go first? Yeah, go ahead. I'd just like to send out my thoughts and prayers to Jacob Blake and his family, another young black man shot by a police officer. Um, we need to have change. We need to be better. Um, and I'm hoping for the best for him and his family. I'm hoping for the best as we uh, work through this in Wisconsin and Milwaukee and in Kenosha. So thoughts and prayers with Jacob Blake. How, if you've had a chance to discuss this with the team yet, and you know maybe some of your objectives when you, you do broach this topic with the team and what those conversations are like and what you hope to gain from them. We have not broached the subject as a team, but I can tell you it's on our players' mind, it's on our coaches' mind, it's on our staff's mind, it's on our organization's mind. And um, certainly a lot of respect for, um, we have a playoff game that's very important to us, but um, an incident like this is more important than anything we're doing in Orlando. And I think there was a lot of talk before we came here that we needed to continue this conversation. We needed to be better as a country. and. Um, have no more of these incidents and um, understand that black lives matter. And uh, so I think um, um, sometime soon, you know, as a team, um, we can sit and discuss and share and uh, just continue to push forward and try and find progress and find, try and find systemic change um, that's lasting. Um, so, you know, as we said before we came and a lot of people have said it, you know, very, very often, it's, it's much more important than anything we're doing today in our game. And, than we're doing in Orlando. Um, and this is just another reminder that's very sad and very unfortunate. And, um, but hopefully we can find progress out of all this.